A majority of the world's websites are hosted on Apache web servers. And I would say the majority of those web servers run Apache in Linux. So what we're going to do is we're going to download and install and we're going to just go over the very basics of working with Apache web server. If you want to know more about Apache, you can go to their website at apache.org and learn about the Apache Software Foundation and how they maintain and update the Apache web server. Now Apache is available on um, Linux and Windows and it can be installed in Mac OS, it can be installed in Unix, but what we're going to do is it's usually run mostly it seems on uh, Linux machines. So we're going to install it um, here. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'll start off first of all with a sudo apt-get update to update my repositories. All right, so we'll get that going. Okay, that's done. I'm going to type clear here. And now what we're going to do is now that we've done that, let's install it. So it's very easy to do from the command line. Once again, I'm running a terminal here. sudo apt dash get install Apache 2. All right, we'll do that. And it says, do you want this to do you want to do this? We'll say Y for yes and hit enter. And now it's going to go through the installation procedure. I might pause the recording and come back when it's finished. Okay, it looks like it's finished. Okay, notice what it says here, starting up the web server Apache 2. And then we get the OK message here. So let's check to see if it worked. Now, first of all, I'm just going to once again uh, type clear here, hit enter. And then let's open up that uh, browser, the web browser. And if our web server is working, we should be able to type in localhost here and see the web server. So we'll type in localhost and you can see you get the message it works. This is the default web page for this server. The web server software is running but no content has been added yet. So that's great. Also instead of localhost we could put in 127.0.0.1 and hit enter and you can see it pulls up the same web page, the web page for this web server. Also what we could do is in addition to that we could see what our IP address is if config and you can see our Ethernet 0 IP address right now is 192.168.2.106 so let's try that too and so we'll put that in here 192.168.2.106 and hit enter and you can see it also brings up our web page. So that shows us the three ways that we can um, view the uh, web page or the web server and our home page right from our own browser. And once again, we're running this web server locally on our computer. Now let's verify a few other things. So another command we can do, and this is good if you're learning networking, is do a netstat command dash a and we'll put a space and then a pipe symbol and then more so we'll pipe that to more and we'll see here what we get here now these are all of our ports our active connections uh, our virtual ports essentially that our computer is listening on you can see that the computer is listening here for dub 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 right and so right here this is a sign that um, the computer is running a web server right and that it's listening on the www or port 80 right and so if we wanted to we could let's type Q to quit that we'll do it again we'll put in the same command except this time we'll say dash a and then n for numbers and hit enter and you can see now instead of dub 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 it shows us the port 80 which is the port for web server right for HTTP World Wide Web and you can see that it's listening on every address available um, our web server is listening for requests. Okay, so that's great. So I'm going to hit Q to quit out of that again, type clear. Now let's see if we can um, examine a little bit closer 
some of the characteristics now with our web server. So a couple of things. If we want to stop the web server, we'll do a sudo forward slash etc forward slash init.d forward slash apache2 and then the stop command okay and that will stop the web server and you can see here that it's been stopped we'll do uh, netstat an again and you can see that port 80 is no longer listed here as listening all right Q clear all right we can also do a stop we can also do a start or we could do a restart command just have to make sure that after the forward slash root etsy init.d apache2 you put a space and then type restart start or stop so let's start it up again all right we'll hit enter notice it says um, okay here all right and we don't have a domain name set so it's just using 127.0.0.1 for a server name and we can fix that later but we get the OK sign here so our server is running so let's see if we can put in a web page now now the web pages for um, the server are in this folder we're gonna go over there right now we're gonna go to CD change directory we will go to the root directory into var into www and in there we'll do an ls command this is where our index.html file is going to exist and this is the file we need to edit if we're going to um, create a home page so the home page in Apache web server is by default index.html you can see we changed directories and went into the www folder and we found it so let's edit it and see if we can get that to show up so I'm going to run a sudo nano index.html I can just put the relative path to the file since I'm in the www folder we'll hit enter and you can see there it is there's the page and you can see right off the bat it says it works this is the default web page for this server so on and so forth so I'm going to edit this a little bit more now I'll put this down here and I'll add a head tag and an end head tag right here I'll put a title tag and an end title tag and then I'll say Dan's homepage between the title and end title tags oops and I forgot an end character right there all right okay so there's the head with the title and then there's the body it works I'm gonna change that to welcome to my web page okay and I'm going to change the text here to this website is under construction and I'm going to remove the part that says there is no content alright so I've just edited that page a little bit with some basic editing alright that is the basic format of an HTML web page very very uh, streamlined and thinned down without any of the, um, it's not very current but it will work so what I'll do is I'll say control X to save to exit and I'll hit, do I want to save the changes Y for yes and then the name to write we want it to keep it index.html hit enter and now that's done and so now we can go back to our web page here you see there it is and then we have the right address here right or we could type localhost right and hit enter and you can see that now I've changed the web page right also I've got a title up here notice the title bar says Dan's homepage right up here right and that's it now you're running uh, Apache web server